You ready, Charlie? I hope so. I gotta tell you, man, for uh, a travel companion, you, you've been fantastic. Very quiet, just patiently looking out the window. It's a good traveler. So Charlie and I have put uh, somewhere about 2,700 miles, I think, behind us. And today we're putting another couple hundred behind us as we head from Foothill Hops Farm Brewery in Munsville, New York to Home Range Winery in Canaan, New York, which is not that long of a drive. Um, but that will be my last destination before getting home to Maine and setting up Ooh, that got close. And setting up setting up Casper and hanging out with family for the next month before we, we hit the, the road again. Anyway, thank you again, Larry and Kate, for your hospitality last night, for letting me park Max and Casper in front of your establishment. And I walked out this morning to a beautiful sunrise and hops. I mean, you can't beat that. So some of the best beer I've had in a long time. And uh, I got a couple growlettes. So they sell 64 ounce growlers and then a 32 ounce, what they like to call a growlette. And because we have a, a small refrigerator in Casper, I got two growlettes. Um, but it worked out really well because then I got the two beers I enjoyed. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, again, heading to Canaan, New York, Home Range Winery for my last Harvest Host stay. And man, this, is, this has been a great trip. It would have been so much better with Susanna and Corbin with me, but to be safe, we decided again, I would just go get the truck and trailer and bring it back across. But I think we have a lot of stops that we need to go back to as a family. And thank you to Harvest Host. I mean, what an awesome business plan. And uh, more and more places keep opening up because they want to host people. And uh, it's a great way to connect with small businesses, great RV sites, and really, really great people. And I will see you at Home Range Winery. See if we can buy a few bottles of small batch wine. I think I'm a pretty experienced Harvest Host member, but I have never had my Harvest Host experience so close to the actual experience. Look at the view out my door. Alright, so this is Home Range Winery. It's uh, owned by Peter and Susan, and they really have only been making wine for a few years. Susan started making wine about 10 years ago, but a couple years ago they kind of got serious with it, and uh, they visited some, some friends in Cape Cod, tried some of the wines, and said, you know what, I think we can do this. So they came back, and sure enough, they're doing it. Uh, all the wine they make is actually produced right downstairs. All the grapes, they do grow some of their grapes here for the wine, but a lot of it, they just they purchase the juice, bring it in, and then they start the mixes. But all the berries and uh, stuff they use in some of their fruit wines are all grown right back out here. So they've got row after row of um, raspberry bushes, they've got blueberries, and uh, they have some really cool gardens. So if you do come here, you gotta take some time and just walk around. 
because they have an amazing, amazing setup here. It's just beautiful. All right, so the wines, I can't remember how many types they make, but I think they, they work about nine up here at a time. Uh, and this building used to be a barn and they have converted it, did a really good job. The reopening or grand opening, I guess, should have been in April, but because of the COVID, that didn't really work out. They are open now, but they haven't done like the big grand opening um, because they're just getting their walk-in business. And then with the harvest host, people that are coming through, they're doing pretty well. Um, so for how well are they doing? For instance, they, when they open up, their third customer that they ever had, she bought 14 bottles of wine. She said, this is amazing, about 14 bottles. And uh, Peter and Susan said, yeah, I think we're gonna be okay. They do have, uh, they have an Airbnb here as well that, uh, that they run. And then Peter actually, he's full-time, he does landscaping. So this has been a side project slash hobby. Um, but they are, I mean, look at this place. They're, they're doing pretty well. I think, they, I think they've got a, a, a knack for this kind of stuff. And then most of these items that you see around here, these antiques and stuff, they're for sale. Some of them aren't. Um, but they're gonna start putting some like price tags and stuff on here because I mean, there's some really cool collectibles in here. Uh, when you look at this bar, so Peter made this. Uh, and a lot of this stuff, you know, they've been able to collect and bring in. And then some of these things like the bicycles up here that were his grandparents, everything's kind of got a story. And if you take the time to actually have a conversation with Peter and Susan, you're going to hear a lot of those stories. And I think that's one of the things that's so cool with Harvest Host. Um, it's just getting to meet these people. And I, I think I've said it in probably every episode, but if you take the time to listen to what these folks are passionate about and learn about them, it, I think it broadens you. Um, but it's, it's just cool to, to learn how people live their lives. Uh, to see what makes them tick, things they're passionate about, uh, and then what they turn that passion into, like something like this. So with that said, during a conversation with Peter and Susan, they actually, you know, they took me down, they showed me where they make the wine, so you can check it out right here. And then uh, Peter and I went and we took a walk through some of the gardens and stuff that are out here in the raspberry bushes. And it was really cool to hear the story just about that. So that garden was his grandparents' garden. Those raspberry bushes and the blueberries and stuff, those were all planted by his grandparents. And uh, so he has a, a very tangible connection to this land. Um, and just, again, great stories, great people. And uh, very lucky to have my last stay with Harvest Host on this trip here in uh, Canaan, New York. So. If you're passing through and you're a Harvest House member, you cannot go wrong by staying here. I would definitely recommend it. If you're not a Harvest House member and you just like wine, uh, you can't go wrong here. The wines are delicious. The raspberry, you, it's it's great. Susanna, you're getting a bottle or two. Um, and we may actually be coming back through here in July, so we may make this another stop. Um, but anyway, so from Canaan, New York, uh, from hitting the trail. Thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow uh, I hit the road and I make it home to Maine to Susanna and Corbin and Matt and uh, about a month of rest and relaxation before we get on the road again. But I will see you on the road to Maine. So thank you again for watching. Good morning from the last day of my trip across America using Harvest Host only. Uh, the whole thing, a little over 14 days, but 14 days on the road, 13 different Harvest Host locations. So if you want to know, hey, does that guy know anything about Harvest Hosts? Yeah, you can, you can ask me questions. I've been there. 
Anyway, uh, so last night, great night at Home Range Winery in Canaan, New York. Thank you, Peter and Susan, again for hosting me. Uh, I don't think I've ever been 10 feet from the door of the establishment. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, this whole trip has been amazing. I was stressed about how am I going to get our truck and trailer that we hadn't seen in almost three months from Oregon to Maine, you know, th through the end of a pandemic, which is hopefully coming to an end. And the fact that Harvest Hosts are still open, that it's so easy to find locations to stay at. And that so many of these locations are just as cool as they are, really uh, turned what could have been a really stressful, somewhat uneventful trip into a very, very cool, very easygoing, um, I guess, reminder of how great our country is and the people are. So all these businesses that I've been to, everybody has been welcoming. Everybody has been brought other people into their homes, into their work sites, into their businesses, into their lives, and said, hey, look, this is what we do. And uh, please park your RV here and stay the night. And that just, that makes me smile. I think it's so great. So from Janet and Lori to Neil the winemaker uh, to Dan and Michelle and Larry and Kate, Larry, Seriously, you make a damn good beer. Uh, to Peter and Susan and everyone in between, that all the places I stayed at, thank you very much for hosting me. Thank you for giving me a little bit of your time to show me what you do. Uh, and to Harvest Host, thank you again. Great business plan. If you are not a Harvest Host member and you're interested, check out their link. It's in our description down below. Uh, go look at the different places they've got, you know, check out the map and go, hey, I just travel regionally and see what's in your region. Or, hey, I want to drive all the way across country. How do I do that? That's pretty easy. Just watch watch this whole uh, 10 episode playlist on YouTube. Um, but otherwise, if you want to get your membership, use our link, our referral link. You'll save 15%, whether that's on the basic plan or the plus golf package, which gives you another like 300 golf courses. And uh, for now, I am hitting the trail. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Send me a comment and tell me whether or not, hey, you just wasted 15 minutes of your life. Or, man, I enjoyed that. Either way, let me know. And then just so you know, uh, in about a week, we'll be back to a normal broadcast. I'll have my family with me. And we'll be hitting the trail. So keep watching. And thank you, and I will see you somewhere in Maine in about five or six hours. Well, I thought I was getting home today and I just had a massive, massive brain fart. I'm at a gas station very tight corner I wasn't paying attention and I caught a guardrail and ripped part of the back of the trailer off well the roadside assistance found me an RV place that can hopefully repair Casper and I'm on the way there right now it's because I got Casper I got his butt all duct taped up and driving 50 miles an hour making sure that it doesn't rip apart this makes me sick I think you see all your I mean all your plans you see your home like I'm thinking oh my gosh you know like we had we were supposed to be in an RV park and out of the in-laws and we had summer plans and I'm not gonna get too excited right now because I don't know what's happening but how long it's gonna take but I have a feeling we're looking like a month but um, yeah this makes me sick so yeah the verdict so far 
um, we're looking at at least a month probably longer so I guess when I try to add a nice French door to Corbin's room I wasn't very smart about it so I've had to uh, remove everything from back here move it up here unload the fridge repack everything that I unpacked when I got our home back I was like oh wow, this is so great all my stuff's back and uh, yeah so I got some things here I got still got some more stuff inside but I'm getting ready to load up Max and back Casper up into his temporary home and uh, and then hit the trail and head for Maine and await the decisions but so far, yeah, I've been told, you know, it just takes forever to get things shipped right now. And um, so looking at, I mean, safe bet, two months. So South Dakota is off the, sorry, it's a lot to kind of process right now. Anyway, um, so I am gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna finish up here and then hit the road. So. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching, and not really the ending. I don't think anybody was looking for. If you were hoping that I trashed Casper, you're a jerk. But anyway, say goodbye to Casper's butt. Crappy day.